Hello, so I'm Emmanuel Brunet-Jailly, and I'm going to be your instructor for 504 this fall. Uh, this is not the first time I teach this course. I've been teaching this course now for three years, and I inherited the course from uh, Herman Backwes and uh, John Langford. Um, and it's a course where I basically uh, review with you um, government and governance practices in Canada and how we make policy make how we make policy in the country. Uh, in this first video, um, I basically want to discuss with you a little bit more in depth um, the course goals, the assignments, and the nature of the assignments. In particular, I want to look at the timing and uh, how the pressure builds basically in the class, in the course, and how you are able to um, address the different assignments without, uh, you know, kind of losing um, uh, your cool because it's very demanding. So the idea behind this course is to understand how the Canadian government and governance in Canada has evolved over the last um, 20 years. And we review a very vast literature to discuss this. We look at the traditional values of the Canadian government system, we look at the structure, we look at processes, um, and we look at the context within which uh, governments in Canada are evolving. And when I say governments, I mean territorial governments, provincial and local governments, and the federal government in relation with other governments like the United States, but also the European Union, and so on and so forth. Government institutions over the last 10, 20 years have evolved, if not in what they are, they have evolved in the processes that they use, um, in parts because they have been challenged. Traditional government and governance has evolved. And this is kind of the core of what we're looking at in this course. We are looking at um, trying to understand the various reforms and sometimes small but significant transformation of the overall system of government and governance in the country. We look at new initiatives, we look at proposals and so on and so forth. Um, the ultimate goal of the course is for you to prepare as part of a small team um, and I will assign the teams and the name of the students who work in the teams um, a well-written and convincing report with policy recommendation um, for a specific government of your choice well within I'm, and I mean it this way, it's of your choice, but within very specific topics. Um, truth and reconciliation and issues that have to do with border and migration, the CBSA uh, type of policies that we have to deal with in, in the country. Now, I will detail those a little bit more um, in another video where I detail basically how you are to work in teams and also um, um, how I would like you to proceed week after week um, uh, in preparing those reports. Now, however, there are four types of assignments in the course. And I want to make it clear that I am aware of the fact that the first assignment is very demanding because you are basically given two weeks to produce a thousand words essay. The first assignment is um, for you to write a brief note presenting the government institution and the processes to people who know nothing about Canada or very little. The context is a European delegation coming to Canada and you are asked by your boss to write a brief that will basically explain what is going on in Canada and how things work. The second assignment Assignment two is basically engaging with the literature and the different themes that we review in this class. And I will detail this also a little bit more in another video. Um, but you have two 
read and answer questions and then discuss those questions um, nearly every week. Um, and so you're quite busy for nine out of 12 units of this class because you have these weekly assignments um, that never stop, right? There always is something that you have to do. Assignment three is the teamwork I just discussed a little bit. And assignment three um, is kind of the capstone assignment in the course. I will assign the teams and I will try to regroup. I will discuss this with the class. But the idea is for you to basically work with three or four colleagues, address a policy conundrum, a governance policy conundrum, um, write a short essay, about 3,000 words, with an executive summary and a conclusion and a policy recommendation. And by the end of class, you have to have submitted all these different aspects of the assignment, right? As I said, um, 3,000 word essay, an executive summary, conclusions, and policy recommendation. And it has to be written clearly and so clearly that any government official would be happy to read it. In other words, it has to be written in um, uh, short and effective sentences using very little jargon or specialized words. And then the, the fourth group part of the grade is the participation. Because we are, um, you know, we are meeting online, I like it that the students can discuss on a regular basis assignment two, but also have discussions and discussions about assignment three. When you're meeting as part of a team, I can basically see how you're working together. I know you will use other platforms um, than the course space, but at least on the course space, I can see how you're working together and you can upload documents to let me see who is doing what and so on and so forth. So this is a broad presentation of the class. What I would like to discuss with you now very briefly is the deadline. Assignment one is due by the end of unit two. In other words, you've got two weeks from the beginning of class to write that first essay. I know and I have the experience with this that it is very demanding for all of you. And so I do take this into account. I want a thousand words as close as, as possibly as close as possible to a thousand words. If you can write exactly a thousand words, that's perfect. Um, and I want you to write here again in very simple language so that non um, specialized specialists of the Canadian system, but also people who don't maybe read and write English very well, are able to understand how the Canadian governance system works. Assignment two is basically two intervention on course space. In other words, you have at least to answer one question every week, and I'm expecting you also to discuss and Possibly, I like it when students post at least one comment, if not two comments every week about the discussion that we have. Three of those are graded. So I will review all of your assignments and I will elect to grade um, at least three of the nine essays that are required. And then assignment three, I've already discussed a little bit, but just so you know, the team project outline starts and is due by unit eight. And then the final assignments, which are the executive summary, the conclusion policy recommendation, and the essay are basically due at the end of class by unit 12. And assignment four is the participation. So I basically set the stage with this video. I know it's not much, but it allows you to get a sense that how I see the class, what the assignments are, what the themes are. And now I can go on and discuss with you the various unit of this class, uh, which I will do um, in the following minutes. Thank you very much.